quick look at Cyanogen Mod 10.1 on the Galaxy Note 2. Now this is the AT&T variant. So if we go down to About Phone, this is the i7-317. And this is based on Android 4.2.1. So mostly everything works on this ROM. I will provide a link in the description for the thread for you to download this. Now this is an unofficial port. Almost fully functional. There are a few issues. If you check out the XDA thread, you will see the issues and see if you can live with that. Which I'm okay with living with a few issues, but you want to go ahead and check out that thread anyways. Now, if we go under Launcher, on officially supported devices, like the Galaxy Nexus, if we go under Launcher on here, and if we go to Home Screen on both, you see that we have more options on the Galaxy Nexus. Now on the Galaxy Nexus we have the ability to change our transition effects in the home screen, like when you're switching the home screen and also when you're in the app drawer. That is not available on the Galaxy Note 2 just yet, but I'm sure it will be implemented soon. But as you see these are the settings for both. There are much more settings on the Galaxy Note, I mean on the Galaxy Nexus. So as you see under drawer we have all of these options. Well, if we go to drawer, we only have three options. So, I mean, this is still a work in progress on the Note 2, but just giving you guys a little heads up. You can also enable full screen mode, but they are both running Trebuchet. Now, let's go down to lock screen. Oops. Go down to lock screen. And as you see, they still have these same options under lock screen. You can change the slider shortcuts. So, they're pretty much the same there. They're the same under themes, but if we go under system, now the Galaxy Note 2 has the hardware keys, so you will see that option. You will see the battery light option and notification light are on both, but this has battery light. I don't know what the difference is between that and no the notification light. I know since it's bleaking red, but I don't know why they have to show it under a different section. Now you have the brightness control from when you slide on the lock, you know, on the status bar on this one but it is not available on the Galaxy Note 2. You, that's pretty much it between the differences there. So let's go back and go back. We still have our quick settings panel. See, we still have pretty much the same options on both, so not really much different there. Let's go back, and we still have our notification drawer. We have our power menus, which is the same in both. And so, besides those few differences in the launcher, these are pretty much the exact same ROMs. And one thing I want to know is that when you go into the recent apps, see that little button up here in the corner that clears out all your recent apps? That's not available on the Note 2. I'm not sure why not, but I just figured I would point that out to you guys. And we can still pull down our little quick settings menu. Trouble getting my finger up there but you see I have more toggles enabled over here because there are more available under the Galaxy Nexus there is no torch option for this one you know just yet and there are quite a few toggles missing actually so I don't have as many as I do on the Nexus but that's pretty much the only differences in both ROMs so I'm just gonna kinda go through and give you guys like a little you know quick tour of CM on this phone now you do have the Apollo music player you have the 4.2 camera which is nice so if we open it up and it works just fine get it to focus on that it takes a picture just fine the video recording works you still have all your options one thing I like is that you can use the power button as your shutter key which is nice if say you're holding the phone like this you can cl click a picture right away and we had the Cyanogen Mod File Explorer which this, in my opinion, looks much better than ES File Explorer or any other File Explorer like that. And it comes with the ROM, so you don't even have to download anything. Now, Google Now works. Barack Obama. Oops. Okay, well, if you search for the right thing, it works. <laughs> um, we still have, you know, pretty much everything that is stock in Android 4.2.1. We have our stock email, we have our stock people, stock phone, 
no touch whiz implemented uh you know applications on here whatsoever you have the 4.2 camera what i love about this rom though it comes with super user and my favorite application is torch i use this application for mostly everything when you leave the house at 5 a.m and it's pitch black outside to go catch your bus you use that application <laughs> And if we go back into the settings, now there is no overclocking on this. So it's just like the Galaxy Nexus. No overclocking is available yet. You still have all of your developer options. One way to make the transitions faster is to change everything to 0.5. Now this, these are the transition speeds. So as you see, everything just kind of reacts faster which if you want a faster ROM, trust me, you're going to want to use those. Or you can just turn off animations in general. Now, battery life, I flashed this when I was on 12%, and it's been about two hours, and I'm still on 7%. So battery life is pretty awesome on this ROM. Now, we still have our custom Cyanogen Mod settings, which one that I love is the volume pan. If we go to Expanded, you see, we can change our ringer, our media volume, and our alarm volume. And we scroll down our custom, you know, sound mode, stuff like that. If we go into display, we still have our allow 360 degrees rotation. We have our volume rocker wake. If we keep going, we have advanced, so we can mess with our HSPA. We can change our screen, which I like to screen how it's at now, and we can change our vibrator intensity. But that's pretty much it under settings. So we, we still have our Cyanogen Mod ringtones, as you see I'm using the SID back there. We have our quick toggles, our quick panel, I should say. And one thing I love about these notifications is that when you click on the time, it takes you to your alarms. I love that every ROM should have that implemented because if you click time what where else would it go besides like the date and time issues like the date and time settings I mean but if you guys want to see anything else about this ROM be sure to leave a comment below if you want to see any more comparisons leave a comment below as well and if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up it helps me out a lot and if you guys want to see anything else about this phone, like a custom ROM, want to see a custom ROM on the Galaxy Nexus, leave a comment below for that, and I will see you guys in the next video.